So I am fighting mobs that are about five, six levels above me in World Tier 3. <clears throat> yeah, six levels above for max XP. And I wanted to, I'm doing this live on stream, but I just wanted to show a little teaser for the druid build. Basically, I made a pure human druid. Well, other than the, the trampled earth aspect. But by focusing on being a human, you can dish out some pretty insane damage without any focus on uniques. So it's pretty nice. And this video will serve as a nice little preview. Keep in mind that I'm not using the Barber Heart yet. I'm not even fully geared. I just have what I have on. And with a couple of good aspects, life is very, very good. Trample's okay, but I wouldn't call it OP, in my opinion. No problem, Gerardo. Happy to have you here with us. Uh, do I mean to have my gloves different from the Mother's Embrace? What? <laughs> oh yes, yes. I'm using the cold iron gloves because I like the smoke effect. So the mother's embrace just looks like, like I like it for the main body, but for the gloves, I knew I had to have the uh, awakened cold iron for that smoky effect. So this combined look just makes me look even more evil, which I absolutely love. Yep. I mean, pure Plague Druid is okay, but, you know. Plague Druid with magical powers, yo. Um, I'm never a fan of Roulette Wheels Chain. I feel that, like, those types of experiences uh, lead to more complaints than good feelings, so no. Definitely not. I wouldn't mind it if it was not based on earned currency, like if there was just a random factor. Like I would like more random encounters in Nightmare Dungeons, other than just the Butcher, you know? <clears throat> and other than the silly events that we already have to do, like the Lost Adventures and whatnot, no. I would actually like some interesting random encounters. You know, kind of like how the Warframe has a Stalker, or uh... That, that guy, that Grenier that attacks you or whatever. Um, I feel like these kinds of um, random events would be really, really cool. And it might bring a new dimension to the game. So, I feel that Nightmare Dungeons should have that kind of thing. Up the stakes a little bit, you know? Oh yeah, the syndicates, yeah, that, that could also that could also be cool. But basically, what I want is something similar to what Warframe did. I feel that fa fairly few games do the whole Warframe thing, you know? And those ideas are very good, you know? I personally feel that those ideas are underutilized. It would be nice if Nightmare Dungeons had some crazy random encounters with unique equipment, drops, things like that. Maybe it could be related to sets in future. <clears throat> could be an interesting way of getting some unique set armors.
I can understand your desire for something different though. I, I'm I like I'm not against them adding new stuff, but <clears throat> just as long as it's reasonable, you know. I don't want them adding anything too crazy. It has to be fun and it has to be reasonable. If they added like a gambling mechanic to the dungeons, that'd be probably a big no-no and would turn a lot of people off. But if they added some other fun stuff or just random encounters or just, you know, something to improve the dungeon experience to break up the monotony of it, I think that'd be really, really cool. Um, Chain, you don't need a group finder. You should join a streamer like me and then join my clan. Easy. See? You don't need a group finder. You should have a streamer finder. Yes, this is the right way. But yeah, I mean, there's no real activities that require a group. So I think that they would have to introduce like raid dungeons or something like that. Then um, if there was a massive raid that would need people to fill to fill spots, then I would say that that um, would not only be interesting, great end game content, but it would <laughs> give purpose to a group finder. Excuse me. Yep, feel free to ask um, when you're on later. If anyone is online in the clan at the time, you know, see if anyone's willing to come along. Although, due to the differences in play stage, you may not find anyone, but that's also okay. Always good to invite others. Mm, yeah, there is. You oh yeah no you can just ask in the clan chat anytime dude. The clan chat is for you guys to use, so just use it. There is definitely a clan specific chat. As long as you don't break any rules, like I, I won't be monitoring it 24-7. But just don't break any rules that, that result in any complaints and you're fine. Like if you're just talking normally to people, it's okay. Basically the same rules as my YouTube chat and you should be fine. Like, I don't think anything bad will happen. <laughs> Honest to God. Raids are fun though. So like raids should teach the gamers the mechanics during the raid itself. As long as they do that and you get people that can follow the mechanics, I think raids would be fun. And give purpose to an LFG. And more purpose for uh, clans as well. Because honestly, other than just leveling together, which is hard to do if you're if you've got a level difference between you and somebody else, um, more or less it's it's pretty annoying to um, game together so I feel that they need more social features or they need more features that can be planned around like a clan based raid stuff like that you know But yes, for those of you in the clan, please feel free to use the clan chat anytime. Like, there's no limitation on it. You can use the clan chat while I'm streaming. There's those just like respect the same YouTube stream rules and you're all good to go. Like, there's no, um, there's no, like, negativity about using the clan chat. Yeah, go for it. I will try her myself. You know, once I get the chance. 
Well, I disagree with that. I think that raids will be fun in a clan-based setting, but then again, it depends on the kind of people that you play with. So, of course, there will be some elitists, but you can just choose to block them and not play with them. So, I think that that is a poor reason not to have raids. Like, every game has elitists. Overwatch has toxic players. Like, I'm one of those toxic players. Hi. But, you know, every game has that. So, I think we shouldn't shy away from it simply because it exists. Rather, we should, um, if possible, try and make it so that there is a reason to do stuff together and then it's up to us ourselves to ensure that we don't make things toxic, you know? At that point, you can only blame the individuals. Not really, not really the game. So I disagree on raids making elitist players. Elitist players already exist right now. Elitist players already exist right now in the form of the people that believe solely, okay, solely that, um, you know, people should be on the eternal server if, uh, if they, if they don't want to, if they don't want to grind or whatever, like, that's, this is wrong, like, rather than saying that we should cater to casuals and make the grind a little bit less, you know, hardcore for them, and also in, in it would mean more content and more experimentation for content creators as well, because that way I can play other games and not burn myself out, you know, these people, they just want the grind to be there, 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 there for the sake of the grind. So there's already elitists, and I feel that that is why, you know, we can't always have, uh, we can't always be afraid of that. Rather, it's up to us to help stamp out that elitism where possible, you know. Because we all got a choice to be or not to be, right? So we can choose not to be. Um, is maximum spirit essence. No, I've got I've got like twenty on mine. So maybe it got nerfed on the necro. I can't answer for sure, but um, because I can't I can't check right now, obviously. But I don't think it's been nerfed because I've seen some pretty large numbers, especially on my sorcerer. I know I've certainly never had an issue with uh, that affix, so... Yeah, no, I completely understand that. Um, and I get you, Abe. Like, I, I thoroughly get you, but... I just feel that, like, those kinds of players will always exist, and, you know, that's what your block button's for. That's what you use the block button for. Oh, it's already dead. Okay. So, yeah. For me, I think that it'll be fine to have it in the game, and you know, if people become start to get unruly, then maybe they can uh, take a chill pill by literally just never being able to interact with me. I'll match. What is this? Poise. Interesting, but I still don't have the actual glyph that I need. I'll just chuck in territorial, because why not? Temporary space. Okay. 